Hey guys, and welcome back to Destiny 2. Um, so this is the second video. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> I just whipped my camera around. Anyways, this is where I currently am in the game, trying to fight for my lights, trying to get my gear back. I have beaten the game, and that'll be the third video coming out. Um, that'll be the end portion. This is the middle. Um, so these are my midway thoughts, and sadly, I was just lazy and didn't set up my green screen, so the face cam for this one is even worse somehow than the previous one, which I didn't think was possible. It's just super washed out. Anyway, it's just editing, just editor's problems, basically. I keep adjusting shit. It's irritating, but, um, yes, I'm in love with the game. I'm not gonna say too much here, because that's gonna be the third video, the end game portion, um, but yes, I'm currently fighting for every drop of power that I can attain so that I can hopefully do the nightfall and, um, quests like that and stuff like that. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoy the rest of the video, um, and transition. And I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure what any of these videos are. Hopefully I have an intro for them or something. Anyways, regardless, um, I wanted to do something with you guys again, kind of like, because I, I kind of want to make like a bracket between each progression cycle. I wanted to do some stuff where we're getting our powers back, which of course we do on Earth. Also, it's the morning and I am just, nope. But I wanted to get my next power because I don't think you can unlock the next power, which is Night Stalker, until you attain that one. So I was like, well, if you wanted to make a video of this me, you best get on it. And I was like, okay, I want a, a sparrow so badly, <laughs> so badly. I feel like if I just were to like just bolt through the story, which I think I can do. I'm a high enough light. I've gotten lucky with blues dropping, but shit, <laughs> is it like it's irritating having to like jump around? Then again, it's beautiful. Like the worlds are like 30 times better than the worlds in Destiny One. Whoosh! Gotta love the ambiance. Hey, do you see that over there? The light. All I can think is, if Rasputin had all those mighty tools and it lost, what did it learn? My crouch, or is he just that big? He's just that big, okay. What's it gonna try this time around? When I hear about the dust bats and those scion flares getting into Rasputin's mind, I wonder, what would they talk about? Rasputin and those creatures. Because I was a servant too. I was an instrument of war, bound to the will of a lesser master, but I learned to be something more. Huh. Okay. So we learn about Kate, our actual hunter person. It's awesome. The way you like get like powers now is like literally like a rite of passage. Like it's a trial. This she doll? leaves the rifle and walks across the naked obsidian into the swarm, firing from the hip as she goes. Each kick of the old revolver, a word. The stone smokes around her where the arc fire lashes it, and the shrapnel guns throw up leaves of obsidian like glass butterflies. She shoots her bandoliers dry, and a team of vandals in glassy stealth leap up to rush her with knives, but she raises her hand and burns them down with the golden gun, laughing. Okay, I, I sounds like, I don't know why we were looking at a cabal while <laughs> well, that was happening. Also, oh, fallen. <sighs> I love that. That's just, that's my favorite thing. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so, oh, by the way, I, I, it sucks because... I had to choose between picking a new exotic or picking an exotic that I already love. So, I don't know man, I just go with the one, like I'm an information person. Like, I'm like, I'm not the person to take a chance on stuff that I don't know. Which is probably fucked, but <laughs> I went like, like three hours without a hand cannon. It sucks. It's just instinctual to hit headshots and to just love the satisfaction of hitting headshots. Anyways, let's go though. I love it. It's like just a weird rite of passage thing. My old friend Andal, he used to stand right here, right in this spot. He'd come up with these wild stories. He'd say, you know, Cade, I've been examining the evidence personally. I've come to think it's you. You're Rasputin, legendary war mind, defender of Earth. And I wish you'd remember that so you could reclaim your full power and save us all. You can see how that'd be embarrassing. What? <laughs> Holy shit. That's just, that's not something that would just be like, Said <laughs> clearly, he went so specific with it. That's fucking awesome. So, Cade's Rasputin. I'm behind this now. <laughs> I don't even care. That makes sense, and it, I could work, and it, I'm into it. Holy shit. But it also makes sense because Cade's like the biggest joke character, so it makes sense that he's like Earth's greatest defender, <laughs> which is what. Which is what that whole military thing was. And Cade even said, when we just talked to him, he said, I was something. And then I became something else, um, meaning he was like this death weapon, and then he became something else. <laughs> neat, very neat, Cade. So I say what I want to say every day. It's no secret. I say, well, I'll go find it then. I'll go tell Rasputin we need its help. 
And Akura looks at me with one of those looks that you know, sometimes you talk to Akura and you just think, wow, you're not even using a fraction of your brain on me, are you? One of those looks. She <laughs> says, Kate, the problem isn't just that we can't find Rasputin. The problem is it's not clear to any of us that Rasputin wants to be found. So it's it's him, but he's like, it's a part of maybe he's probably the key, like his mind, so to speak. Neat! <laughs> Neat out! <laughs> ah! That's why Kate's so now fucking stupid. The traveler, but we're not alone. Oh. You want to use some of this power? Basically, I think is what it's trying to say. God, there's that word again, basically. Honestly, it's not beat by uh uh. <laughs> uh is the worst. It's like the worst habit everybody has. Which is when you when you're trying to think of what to say, you go, uh. And if you start to notice it, you're fucked. <laughs> like if you're listening to a podcast or something, or a video when someone starts to say, uh, you're just screwed. <laughs> the whole time you're unhappy. And usually I don't like get that way with stuff, but no with that I definitely did. Um ooh. See I just did it again. Um <laughs> um and uh the same thing. Pow 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 Love headshots. This shard called us here. I'm sure of it. Wait for it. Ah, interact. Oh, I didn't even get to use my one pa- oh. <laughs> I probably should have done that then. <laughs> well, shit. Also... I wonder if it'll be Kay teaching us how to use Void Bow, if it'll be someone else. Because, like, each person has, like, their mentor, maybe? Like, Akura, maybe? <laughs> no, because you didn't get anything for Striker, right? So it'd be weird. Or Strider, sorry. Gave us a gift. Let's use it. Oh, equipment locked. Alright. I don't think we're supposed to really use our equipment so much as do use our golden gun. And fuck up shit. <laughs> Whew. Another. Another. <laughs> Give me more. <laughs> Give me more power. We're just tripping balls in the forest right now. We got stung by like a plant or something. <laughs> I'll just finish you up that way. Frost generated two orbs of light. So apparently the Gunslinger class is one of the best, um, um, what do you call it? PvP or PvE classes because it can generate like insane amounts of orbs. Yes. Cutting our way through everything. A grenade, because <laughs> why not? Ah. Give me more power. Thank you, thank you. Jump. Oh, by the way, I never answered, like, I, 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 by the way, I do think the hunter is still the worst class. Like, uh, in terms of the power level of every other class, etc. But that doesn't mean I don't love the hunter and I'll play him regardless. <laughs> like, that, that's exactly why. I'm a hunter person. Um, but I definitely, definitely think the hunter got shafted, like, wholeheartedly. I <laughs> think that way. So, yeah. But again, I'm, I'm a hunter by heart, man. I um, love this class. It's a class I've always played because, I don't know, I like the speed of it. I like the way it looks. It's cosmetic stuff. It's my thing. Boom, another gold gun. Boom, boom, boom. Love that they let you get used to the super here. It's like, it's such a, this game is such, so well structured. Um, yeah, <laughs> it feels like fan service just because it's so, like, refined in the way that it lets you do things. Um, yeah. Incredibly well done, Bungie. Like, finally. <laughs> I say finally, but I don't, I've never had a problem with Destiny 1. Like, some people act like it's a goddamn travesty, and it's like, calm down. <laughs> like, it wasn't even that bad. <laughs> I'm going to miss uh, punching the world over and over again, because that was the funnest thing as a Strider. We'll just constantly keep milking this. He'll use his alt on me, and that'll hurt a lot. I'll bank my grenade. It's water. It didn't bank really well. Just keep doing that. Ooh. Ah. Ow! Stop it! Please stop it! Okay, I'm not sure if that's it. I imagine that's it. Nope, it wants us to do other things. Wow! <laughs> yeah, nice! Incredible. If that was a test, I think we aced it. <laughs> Whoosh! Yeah, I'm glad I, I'm glad I took that took whatever. <laughs> I'm glad we experienced that together. That's awesome. Um, also, it's not like the biggest spoiler. I don't think it's just like some information, some lore. Apparently, Cade is like connected to the 
to the arc mine, whatever the hell it's called. Main point being is that, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Um, I think I might do, yeah, I'll do all those with you guys, even when I get, when I eventually, <laughs> eventually get to my hunt, my titan, sorry. Um, I think I'm gonna play titan next, because I think he's as titan's the strongest, and then I'll go with warlock, because I think the warlock's second strongest, and then I'm playing my hunter. Whatever, I like hunter, <laughs> it's basically all it is. So by the way, my, my loadout I'm hoping to attain eventually is a hand cannon that's, I'm hoping is like this. This is awesome, it's like a true western style gun, I love it to tears, I hope there's a, a equivalent of this out there. Um, I was, its fire rate was just a wee bit higher, but that's fine if it's not. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I want a hand cannon like that. I'm going to be running with a hopefully bazooka like this, um, or a bazooka like uh, this. I don't care. Bazookas I still think are the best way to go just because it's an AoE weapon that also has damage behind it. The only thing it doesn't have is projectile speed, which of course makes it useless in Crucible, but definitely useful in PvP. Or PvE, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I don't like the cosmetic items thus far. Like, even Destiny 1... There was something there. Now they're just like, you look fucking awful. <laughs> like, it's like, okay. So I've been saving my points because I know exactly what I want. Um, so that's amazing. Um, I'm going to keep this, keep uh, everything there. The only thing I'm going to spend a point on is this. Um, we are also going to be not playing with the explosive PvP build, which is all about like reload speed, precision kills, uh, improves accuracy with a gun. And this seems like it's the PvP um, build. We're going to be going with this one. Which is, your knife throw distance is increased, precision damage also instantly charges your ability. Neat, but not exactly what I want. Um, enter a trance with each precision hit, um, reduces the cooldown of your super. Okay, wow, so every time we get a precision hit, we get our super back faster. Awesome, so this one's all about being precise, which guys... <laughs> I've already talked about how much I love. Enable precision damage with the golden gun, allowing you to do extreme damage with that set precision damage. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Um, and sadly we get this one at level 15, but precision hits with golden gun increases the damage and extends um, its durability. Wait, I thought there was one that like it spawns super- oh there it is, right here. Um, crowd pleaser. Enable precision damage with golden gun. That's the first thing it does, but the second thing it does is precision hits with golden gun. Oh, generate orbs of light. I thought it was just precision hits in general, not necessarily precision hits with the golden gun. Oh, that's super, that's just not incorrect, that's just incorrect information. <laughs> what? That's shitty. I thought it was a precision hits, not precision hits with the golden gun. Luke Smith, I thought you said that in an interview and you lied. <laughs> oh, I'm just mistaken. I don't know. But regardless, guys, we're going to transition to whatever I do next because it wasn't that long a video, whatever. All right, and we're back, unless that video was itself, probably not. I wanted to make these longer just so that they're like these milestones, kinda. Anyways, what is, what is that? I've never seen that before, but a um, bunch of new things <laughs> happened. I kept playing and playing and playing and grinding and grinding and grinding. Um, it's the same day, as you guys can notice by like the lack of green screen and lack of caring for me, but <laughs> um, we are now level 203, which is awesome. Also, we are now rank 220, so we have 20, or level 20, sorry, not rank, level 20. Um, and I am in love with Hawken SMGs, which I never thought I would be, but damn, they're just awesome. I love them. <laughs> they're great. Um, they got good damage, they feel, they feel loud, I like it. Sadly, I, have, I can no longer really use this, <laughs> because I don't have legendary shards to infuse anything into it. So, problems. Anyways, I did get something. The only reason why we're here is uh, because I got a special shard thing um, that apparently this person can unlock. Now, this is a massive point of debate within the, the game right now. Um, I imagine it's only going to get worse, but it's basically the idea that you pay to win. Um, and or paying for more than just a cosmetic thing that is gives you no possible advantage. Um, which, oh, dude, that sword. You lucky bitch. Fuck. Anyways, let's just play dead. Let's just pretend we're gonna die. <laughs> um, a gift from Tez. Um, and you want to make this the cool. So, yeah, what do we get? Nothing. Uh, ooh, we get a ghost though, finally. Um, this is Hunter Shale. This ghost is for the who are proud to be a hunter partner. Okay. Okay, so all that was just, I guess, for leveling up for 20, <laughs> I suppose. Huh? Anyways, this is what it becomes. Engrams are now like this, um, and Tess can decrypt them, which is... Why the hell is it the cryptoc a thing? Anyway, moving again. Um, okay, see that's the issue that with the people have, though. Is that the you have to get lucky. Thank God I did. I'm a massively appreciate per, whatever. <laughs> I like that. Thank you, <laughs> Tess. But, 
um, people are annoyed because that's like the only way you can really get sparrows. You can't do them by doing a quest or anything like that. You have to get lucky by a drop. And I think, I think only she can like let you have them. I don't think they can drop from strikes and whatnot. So that's a big point of contention. Also, the fact that you can buy um, shaders for your weapons and whatnot, but then your like mods that like upgrade damage and stuff like that. It's a tiny burst of power and or selling power, which yeah, I don't like. I don't like that at all. I think the whole it's getting it's getting to a point where I don't like it, and I don't even like to try make a transaction that anyway. But anyways, rare pack of shaders, a rare pack of armor mods. Let me go with shaders, cause I'm that guy. Oh, we get both. Sweet, <laughs> awesome. Um, and we can. What? Tess is overjoyed at all you have accomplished, um, and offer you quite a reward. Yeah, three of these. Holy shit, uh, why? <laughs> um, I did do th some things, I went to every planet ex and like did all the side missions, but I haven't completed that much story, so I think as soon as I do that, we're gonna have more side quests. But anyways, uh, this is like a pack opening, fuck it, sure. <laughs> um, that's a weapon skin, I think. It's not an exotic. But yeah, fucking let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it is awesome. We finally have a sparrow, so we can finally fly around a little bit. It's called Wind Shirk. Shriek, sorry. Alright, I can get behind this. Not the worst. <laughs> um, what about this? Oh, that's disgusting, but yet neat. <laughs> um, also weird. Anyways, we also got a, a thing. So many things are happening. <laughs> High Highline is what this one's called, and it's just a different uh, ship. <laughs> okay. But uh, we also got some stuff. Oh, we got a new we got one of those. We got a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, we got this skin for this special shotgun. I think it is. And I've heard it's a really good shotgun. It's a yeah. It doesn't tell you what gun. It, like if it's a shotgun or not. But anyways, um, I didn't beat the game yet. And it sounds like beat the game talk. <laughs> so I just got to level twenty. <laughs> Making it sound like we got our home back. Like we got a we got a farm. <laughs> but it's at the tower. But anyways, cool, <laughs> cool. We got another legendary ghost for for what? Uh, for be like doing the whole walk like I didn't come back and talk to her after I did the special like subclass thing So yeah, but we're gonna go do that guys <laughs> just so you know I feel like that'd be Kate's thing but Kate's kind of just like a side bitch now <laughs> It's like yeah, it gives you like these scout things which can help you grind chests I guess which hey, I think chests can give you a plethora of good things like currency to upgrade factions and stuff so <laughs> cool. Engram lady has been just completely useless though, which is a bit surprising. Um, let's go do that damn mission and go on another spirit journey or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> um, this one is Way of the Void Walker, which I am very, very interested to see if it is the exact same as the the uh, not Void Walker. Um, I'm not sure if that's what it's called exactly, but you you get it. <laughs> you understand me. I really feel shitty by not putting up the green screen. Like, I just want to do this, just so you guys don't see behind me. I mean, it's not bad. There's some shit on the ground. <laughs> a lot of shit. I don't mind the ship. It's like a, it's like a U. <laughs> okay. It stands for you guys. Except it's, it's not spelled like. Okay. <laughs> Listen, man. I've been playing all day, and I've been like thoroughly grind mode. Which again, I, I'm not sure if I put in the clip, but I, I want. I was talking. I didn't want to get into that mindset, of, and I kind of didn't, but it's the mindset. Oh, that's awesome. Um, we finally. It's a pain in the ass to book it to place to place. Anyways, what was I saying? Um, right, I didn't want to get to the point where I was grinding, 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 and I only grinded because of that reason, you know what I mean? Like, I was only playing to, like, just grind, and I wasn't really enjoying it because I was just trying to get levels. No, uh, I, and that's easy to do in this game, especially if you were coming from Destiny 1 and etc. Super easy just to get lost in that mindset. <laughs> um, but I'm happy to report that the story was way good enough to where I didn't have to do that. It kind of just pulled me in. Opposed to like letting me sleep <laughs> um, and shut off my brain. But then again, there's plenty of times where you're just killing shit and you can shut off your brain, so it's not like a busy game now or anything like that. Very happy with it. At the, I think, halfway point, I'm about to jump into strikes and, and start grinding for legendaries, which will get me into like end game ish <laughs> territory. I see you haven't changed much, Portal. Still huge and scary. Yep. Forgot to put my headphone in. Let's go! You ready for weird story time? I'm for weird story time. Ditto, dude. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Gunslinger's been pretty fun. <laughs> um, not too different. Anyways. It's all Kate. about where you belong. Warlocks have their libraries. Titans have their walls. Hunters belong in the wilds. And there ain't nobody as wild as a hunter with a fistful of void. 
Well, okay. I wonder why Cade's always the front man when there's women speaking to us in our ears. Is he all things? Cade is God, it turns out. <laughs> you take aim before you pull the bow. That's right. It doesn't make sense. It's the void. So you take aim in the middle of a firefight. You line up your shot. Then you pull the bow. Always worth it for the looks on their faces. <laughs> So what, she's, so what she means by that is when you activate it on like Golden Gun, um, you have like three seconds to aim <laughs> and like hey, downtime. Fuck it, yeah we do. <clears throat> Wallop. That coffee's real good. <laughs> uh, like, uh, we're in the middle of a mission, yes. Coffee is top nine. I'm not sure what like class I'll stick with. A part of me wants to say striker or whatever, or strider. Um, but it depends. I'm really hoping it's void, honestly, because I just love the void weirdness <laughs> and like that stuff, but um, I am hoping wholeheartedly that it it works out, like that the the Night Stalker is different in some sense. Yeah, because it, it, a lot of the abilities just are returning, so I hope that they they make that one special, although they may not because they think it's like it, it's already Another new enough. Projection. You hear that from some warlock? No, no. The void ain't special. It sure is creepier than solar or arc, that's for sure. But it isn't special. Just show it respect, thank it for a lovely evening, and make sure you always pay your bill, so to speak. Then, you've got nothing to worry about. See? Huh. I like the other one a lot more. So she sounds like a, like a fucking mean person. <laughs> Just mean, like yeah, that mean. But you get it. It's like sounds eerie and like not mystical or whatever. Which I was hoping what the void would be. Oh sweet, look at Kate. I looked at her and wondered how many innocent lives she'd ended on those broken blades. She did the strangest thing then. She took the last shock pistol from her bandolier and threw it between us as if to offer it. When I went to pick it up, she tried to knife me, but she was slow, and yeah, I did what I had to do. To this day, I wonder if she hated me, or wanted to make me kill her, or just felt she should spare me the choice. Huh. Wow, that took a, a very intense turn. So what, she was like, a, she turned psycho and started murdering everybody? So not all guardians are hoppy-go-lucky saviors. <laughs> They're like, hey, we can be evil as shit as well. Uh, good to know. <laughs> There's the shot. Depressing. <laughs> Wait, did you hear that? Take him. Inbound. Of course. Void take you. Really? God damn it. <laughs> I mean, do we fight Cabal? The one we were fighting the, uh, the other people? I can't see anything. But I still shot him. I'm stuck, I'm stuck in trees. Also, I can only imagine the exposure and shit with the camera is just as bad as last, like, like last night is when I recorded a video for Destiny. So yeah, it's probably bad. Again, I can't be bothered. I'm too busy like grinding my ass off and enjoying a game that I've had fond memories with and Destiny 2 is the same exact thing. Like, not in the, in the way that it is the same, it's like a copy and paste game, although in some aspects it is, um, but more in the sense that I just, I'm enjoying the game like I enjoyed the first one. Um, and I even like the first that shard must have a little light left to give Yeah, anyways, uh, I enjoyed the first part of destiny one like even the story like destiny one people were like it's sh was shitty And then Tank King made it good and I was like I liked all of it <laughs> I just was I yeah, I knew what it was I accepted what it was and it was fun. Yeah, not a popular opinion <laughs> Ooh, I'm warm Okay. All oh, that'd be creepy. Um, <laughs> it's boy. Okay. So this is his support class, which is also like, it was good because I do strikes a lot. But Cade's Pathfinder. Woo! Not sure exactly what that means, but hell yeah. Sweet. That happened. You're all fucking anchored now. Some of that. Oh, I don't have my thing. <laughs> oh. Is like Shade Step at least cool and different? Or is the same shit? No, same shit. I got will choose this class just because it offers a, a little bit more uh, utility and stuff. Oh, I don't have my ability. Damage is shared though between them, which is awesome. We did it. That's it. 
That was a lot less <laughs> than Yao. Oh, fight your way out. Oh, sweet. Pow. More pow. Ah, <laughs> my boy. Dick move, guys. Boom. God, that makes such that makes for such a great combo. I love that. Void tether and that just perfect. Where's the gate? Oh. Keep fighting your way out. I take it. Oh wow! So they don't they no longer give it to you. Like it's very much like you still have to very much aim, or else you're screwed a little bit. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, yeah. So then it should offer you like a bunch of. Um, damage, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that would only way to be kind of fair. Ooh, barely skin that. Just, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I wonder what they can do with smoke Take bombs. To stop us from Nailed it. Some of this. Get wrecked. Again. This. That's gonna be great. What? Why didn't that was less cool than I thought it was gonna be? <laughs> Nicely done. Let's get out of here. I'm ready for a oh. change of scenery. <laughs> well, we're not done, G. So chill the fuck out. Very cool. Are we gonna talk to Kate about any of this? <laughs> this big shit. Oh god, everything is sore because I've just been sitting in a chair, hunched over like like a I don't know, <laughs> um, a gargoyle. I don't know why the traveler keeps choosing to grant us its powers. There must be others like us out there, fighting for what's right. I'm not sure if I enjoy that. It kind of alludes to the fact that you're like, it, it doesn't make sense. It, do, it does this a lot. That's the only thing I kind of don't like about the story, which I love the story. It's like perfect for me. But I do think it's a bit weird when it comes to uh, like, it's almost it's trying to appease everyone. So it's clashing with other things. Like it, it, it talks about things like when you took on the House of Wolves or whatever. Um, so Zavala has those memories, but yet he still doesn't. It's like those memories go away when it's convenient. It's, it's kind of strange. Um, like when you're doing side quests and whatnot is when like you start to hear about Osiris and stuff like that, which is awesome, by the way, but it's just kind of this weird continuity error where it's like you're trying to you're trying to appease everyone, but you're like confusing some people, I think. Anyways, change subclasses. You got a new subclass, but you can still go back and forth to your old ones. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Clan season. Sweet. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Maybe, maybe eventually, sure. But subclass changing. Let's see, so unlocked all of my subclasses, and I like how they did this, it's actually pretty neat. It used to be subclasses were here, here, and then here, just to the left, like straight across. Now it's here, 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 and then the, another one can go right in between those ones, so very cool. But, um, this one is, what's it say? Draw from the void, light the way. Neat. Yep, it's the exact same grenades from the first game. That's really disappointing. <laughs> um, what are these at least? Snare bomb. Throw a smoke bomb from a distance with a melee ability. Smoke bomb sticks to surfaces and detonates when enemies are near, slowing it. The smoke will create a smoke cloud that makes you and nearby allies invisible. I thought they took this out of the game. I thought I heard that somewhere. Okay, well. Grenade, grenade effect lasts twice as long, allows for stronger control and increase damage potential hmm. grenades are better okay killing tethered enemies great creates orbs of light and increases mobility recovery and resistance for nearby allies cool um fires shadow shot multiple times in a rapid why is that a thing that's really weird that shouldn't be it shouldn't be here <laughs> uh, at least not to me that to me is a pvp uh build and yet they, they have stuff like this one which like makes it snare and shit <laughs> so that all seems awkward, but anyways, yes, this one is the one I'll be using um, primarily. Grain lasts longer, killing tethered enemies. Yeah, that's definitely like a PvP build or PVE build. Sorry, I can't say things, but um, yeah, sunshot. That's that's shitty. <laughs> that, I'm really disappointed by that. Uh, the subclasses are fucking exactly the same. Exactly, exactly the same. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's dumb. Um, again, I'm still loving the story. I think it's it's a good game in that respect. But the fact that there's no different subclasses and or like there's no tremendous changes except for like the gunslinger, which is the only one that has vast changes, and the strider has a different super is the only thing. And then the the third class, the last one you attain, is identical to the classes in the previous game. Oh, what?